Hello, my name is Carrie Rigsby. Welcome to another broadcast. And remember, today is a brand new day. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to talk about joy in hard times. Joy in hard times. And my scripture is James 1, 2 through 8. And it reads like this. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers of temptation. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But that patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and unbraideth not, and it shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. Last verse. A double-minded man is unstable in all ways. So my brothers and my sisters, James, in the book of James that I just read, he wants us to consider it joy when we go through trials and tribulation. And I already know what you're thinking. It is so hard to find joy when everything around you is not happy. Like if we go and you know, thinking about all the bills that we owe, student loans and debt, the loss of a loved one, um, sickness, things that's going on in the world when it comes to racism and COVID-19. In the times that we are living in, I know that it's hard to find joy in hard times. And James isn't saying to be joyful when we are hurting and when we're going through. He's saying to consider it joy while in the struggle. Consider having joy. So instead of being sad that whole time or upset that whole time, find something that will give you joy in it. James says to consider it joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials. And look at verse 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your patience worketh patience. No, the trying of your, your faith worketh patience. So, knowing that, we, knowing that while we're in our trials, consider this. Consider two things. One, know that it's just a test that you're going through. It's just a test to see how strong your faith really is. Trials, when they come, and tribulations, when they come, it's a measure of a person's faith. How much are you willing to sacrifice? How much are you willing to endure? I read somewhere, somewhere and I think that it, it, it ties to this. Think about this. Sometimes we as Christians are like tea bags. You don't know how strong you are until you're put in hot water. So think about that. You don't know how strong your faith really is until you're in a hard situation. While you're in this situation, you're able to notice and see how much you can really show your faith and how much you believe. I'll give you a, a, a situation. When I was going through my situation with my sickness, I was only thinking about my faith. I was thinking about how much I believed in God and I knew that if anybody was going to get me out of it, it would have to be God to do it. And with me having that kind of mindset, 
People told me that, like my family, my mom and my dad, they came back to me later and they said that during that time, he showed them and he gave them faith just by looking at me. So by looking at how I was handling the situation, it inspired them and increased their faith even more. The whole time that I was there, I lost um, not just my voice, but I lost the ability to walk. I lost um, a lot of strength. I was really, really weak. And I was really, really skinny. I had lost a whole lot of weight. And they wanted me to use a walker. And I threw the walker. I literally threw it. Why? Because I knew that God wasn't going to... Uh, allow me to live the rest of my life on a walker as young as I am and as strong as I am physically I knew that I was not going to be confined to a wheelchair or a walker so when even in situations when it when it really gets hard you have to have the mindset that this is not what God wants for me he doesn't want you sick he doesn't want you sad he doesn't want you miserable. So even in your trials, I want you to consider it joy, even in hard times. Because just because things are bad right now, it does not mean it's going to be bad forever. Amen? The second thing that I want you to consider is that when you go through any trial or any tribulations, it gives you endurance. When trials, persecution, temptations are overcome, it is faith that's going to make you stronger and is sharpened with your patience. Although our faith is strengthened, we must not think that we, just because we conquer Satan one time, that the battle is over. Because that's not even how the devil works. The devil will hit you one time, and you'll get through it, and then he'll hit you another time. The devil is relentless. And even as Christians, he's going he's gonna to attack you even harder. So just because you get through one situation one time, it doesn't mean that the devil is going to stop. But we have somebody that we can lean and depend on, especially when it comes to any trial or any tribulation that we go through. So count it all joy. Have joy in hard times. Peace and blessings to all of you. May heaven always smile upon you. I hope you all have a great day.